Okay, so this is a kind of just a real short mini lesson just to go over um, question, asking questions about key details. Um, the objectives are to ask questions, ask questions to develop understanding of key details in an informational text, and then answer questions by referring to explicit details in the text. So essentially informational text, nonfiction. All right, so these are going to be questions that um, aren't related necessarily to a story, something someone's made up. This is going to have content-driven vocabulary, and that is going to make it automatically a little bit more difficult. All right. Um, you want to be able to ask and answer questions to demonstrate understanding of a text, referring explicitly to the text as the basis for answers. So when I say I want quoted evidence, um, I am looking for something specifically in the text that proves whatever it is you're telling me. Um, answer, ask and answer such questions as who, what, when, where, why, and how to demonstrate understanding of key details in the text. That's the first rule of thumb. Anytime you read a text, whether it's fiction or whether it's nonfiction, like these informational texts, you have to be able to answer who, what, when, uh, who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay. If you can't answer those questions, you have to go back and reread it. It's very, very important. Um, when uh, I was in journalism school, that was if I didn't have those questions answered, I didn't have a story. Okay, so you have to be able to understand those. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, it takes time. Yes, it is one of those things that you might not, you may not be interested in the topic. It makes no difference. All right, there are going to be always things that we have to read that we need to understand the details because otherwise, honestly, someone's going to take your money. That's what it boils down to to me. Um, if I don't read the loan agreement on my car or loan agreement on my house, mortgage on my house, then someone can come in and take that away from me. If I sign a piece of paper and they say, oh, here, just sign this, no problem. Oh, you don't need to read that. You do need to read it, okay? That's why you have to be able to, to ask questions about these ideas. So uh, essentially what... Uh, we want to talk about, for instance, like, well, how did you get to school this morning? Did you ride the bus? Did you ride the car? Did you ride in the car? Did you walk? Did you ride your bike? How did you get to school? Um, what did you do after lunch? Okay. Um, what, uh, what did, uh, what did I say two minutes ago? All right. Anything that can help you remember key details you really want to start trying to do. Um, I think a lot of times as readers, we, we don't want to have to admit, either admit or we just don't want to go back and reread something. Uh, look for key words. Look for specific words. So if they're asking you where, uh, where is... Um, the junior high and you don't know what street it's on and there's a document you want to scan that document for maybe an address all right you want to look for those key details um authors they, they like to put in details uh when um that you may skip over or you think you already know the answer to. Uh, and then for whatever reason, they, they changed that. If you think you know everything about um, uh, mechanical pencils, right? You know everything about mechanical pencils, but uh, do you know what kind of lead this takes? Well, no, you'd have to look at it, right? You'd have to look and say, okay, well, this takes 0.9 millimeter mm millimeter lead right you have to be able to look at those things very carefully read the back of cans uh for you know get a read the diet coke bottle read start reading anything that you can think of or anything you have in your possession anything in your hand that will help you find key details um you have to have these details in order to write a summary 
which is what where you're going on this okay uh, being able to pull out key details will help you answer that who what who who's involved what do they want um, where are they why are they there you know how are they going to get out of this situation that's why it's important to do those things. And this is not a very good answer uh, as far as, or a very good explanation as far as um, showing you a specific text and pulling out key details. Um, I'm just giving you a hint that perhaps maybe you need to not skim through uh, the text and really read it. And even if you have to take a couple of notes off to the side or highlight something that you think is important. But remember the basic questions you have to answer in any text, who, who is doing the action or who found something or who discovered something or who created something, what, what is it that they created? Uh, where, where was this, where was this happening? Um, when, when did it happen? Uh, why? Why did they need to have this particular discovery or this particular invention or this particular, why are they even telling us about this particular thing? And then how, if you can answer all of those, you can demonstrate an understanding of the text. And that's what you need to do. This isn't the best explanation at the moment. And I will try to find, I'll, I will post another video. Um, but that's what I really want you to start thinking about, uh, and you, it, it, we all do, there are certain things we all don't like to do, but going back and rereading, absolutely essential. If you don't understand something, go back and reread it. You may have to read it three or four times before you really can rattle off those answers of who, what, when, where, why, and how. Okay, that's incredibly, incredibly important. Uh, I will look for a short text and then uh, add to this.